Okay, and we're here with Eric again. Uh, one of the things that you have to do when uh, installing a robot is uh, do some collision prevention. And um, to do that, we tell the robot what, what's in the world that it has, correct? So let's, how do we do that? Exactly. So with, with Actinav, it's a you know, different way of programming. We have an environment, so mm -hmm. the robot is aware of its surroundings. Okay. And basically, uh, the principle is very simple. Uh, green bubbles, so you see the green bubbles around the robot and the end effector right here. Okay. You zoom in a little bit. And there's there we the, go. Yeah. The robot. And then there's green bubbles around uh, objects in the environment. You see the bin there. There's some frame, the sensor, the post that the robot's mounted on. Okay. But what you'll notice that's not in this environment is these walls. There's a, a wall, nice glass wall here we don't <laughs> want to hit. And of course, we don't want to hit the uh, curtains in the back there. Sure. So all we're going to okay. do is we're going to uh, teach by demonstration. We're going to show the robot its world. Okay. So most of it's created, but we're going to create a couple of planes here. Good. And, and these are the, some of the things that uh, it already knows about. This is the sensor up yep. here. There's a and that shape here. There's that. And the bin, of course. We got the bin. Yep. yep. We, got the, we got the control box here. That's right here. Got a plane right there to prevent oh, right. it from okay. touching that. And then uh, the, uh, the slot where the parts are going to go. Yeah. Okay, that's in there as well. Yeah, we got that. We can zoom in there. Whoops. There. there we go. And yeah. you see there's even a little part in there. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this teach button here, teach. Okay. And we're going to select lozenge. And it asks us, you know, to train a plane, you need three points. You need an origin and an X and a Y. So okay. we just hit this great little free drive button here on the back of the teach pendant. That allows me to move the robot freely by uh, hand. Okay. And then basically, I'm just going to take, you know, a TCP of the robot here. Okay. And we'll call that point one. And then it asked me for point two. Mm -hmm. So again, we'll hit that free drive button. And why don't we just go, you know, straight down maybe as far as we want to go. Mm -hmm. That's probably pretty good. So we'll hit OK for point two. And then for point three, We just want to come over here. Now the robot can't reach any further than this, so we don't have to worry about it going any further than that. All right. And basically, when we hit done, you're going to see this uh, new shape appear on the left side over here. So hit done, and you see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's the shape. Okay. So now that robot and that end effector and that part will never go through that plane. Now you can see in the UI, I've just moved the robot through it, through that clearance shape. Yep. Oh, so okay. it Good. will never do that. It okay. will never get any closer than, yep, there. You can see it won't get oh, closer yeah. than that. And so we're gonna do the same thing again uh, for this back wall here. Okay. And then we can extend the planes and we'll have a nice safe working space for the robot. Okay, great. Thank you.